Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the current suspension upgrade options for the Honda CRF 300L. Hi, welcome or welcome back to Dirt and Trail. So there's been lots of talk about the 300 suspension, which will not be a shock to anyone. So in this video, we're gonna go through all the available options that are currently on the market or soon to be available. Information and specs are changing quickly. So the information may be different depending on updates and when you're uh, watching the video. We'll include all the links we have in the descriptions below. So before we kick off, do look at our video of the uh, 300L on a motocross track to see what the standard suspension is actually capable of. And we were actually surprised. It's also handled all the trails we've thrown at it so far. But that said, it is soft uh, and does lose a lot of the stroke as soon as you take your weight, uh, as soon as the bike takes your weight if you're heavier uh, than, than a small adult or large child. So upgrading it will make the overall riding experience better, uh, but knowing what you actually want will help you decide how heavily you, you want to upgrade. So looking at where and what you ride, how much you'll be pushing the bike and your ability will help you decide what you need to do to meet your requirements. In the descriptions we've uh, included some great links explaining how suspension works as we see it as a bit of an art form to get it right. Uh, in this one, with MLS mag, uh, it is road orientated, uh, but the KTEC guys have done a great job of explaining the different aspects uh, that suspension comes with. For example, preload, and that increasing the preload doesn't make the suspension stiffer, but adjusts only the ride height. We are awaiting confirmation, uh, but due to the extended length of the travel, we do not believe other springs uh, will fit the forks out of the 250L for example um, as they'll be too short. This is the same for the Rally um, however the rear shock for example is only 10 mil or so longer uh, so a shock with height adjustment would make it virtually the same. Could upgrade just springs uh, and shims on the forks uh, but there's certainly more involved than just swapping like for like as you would do for the shock. So first on our list is Nitron. Uh, Nitron, suspension, uh, Nitron are a suspension only business uh, and renowned in the car and bike world for world class suspension. So easy to trust their workmanship uh, and quality. Their offering for the 300L is the R1 shock and comes in at around 490 pounds uh, made specifically to your specs and have spring choices in their lovely teal color or titanium black uh, they've got 24 click compression and rebound adjustment together um, that can be adjusted on the fly which is a nice touch and uh, especially useful if uh, carrying a pillion for example and can be adjusted back and forth uh, quickly also comes with a five year limited warranty. Uh, most others come with only two, uh, we believe. Uh, after personally seeing their uh, professionalism and, and passion when visiting the factory, we think they, that this shock is, a, is an excellent choice. Only downside being that they do not yet produce a cartridge kit for the forks to complement the rear. However, they have said uh, that if there is enough interest they would make a cartridge kit for the forks which we'd certainly welcome they are worldwide so use the links below to locate your nearest dealer and register your interest if you'd like a cartridge kit um, then there is a possibility that they will make one we suggest brook suspension uh, for the current shock that's available uh, who also ship worldwide uh, in the US, uh, Fast Bike Industries are the, are the Nitron dealer uh, who can assist in that region. So do let them know if you'd be interested in a cartridge kit. Uh, the more 
interest and the more they're aware of the demand, the more likely it is that they will produce one. Again, check the links below <coughs> uh, in the description, including their press release. Next on the list is the YSS. Now, suspension components are our most versatile option for the money. YSS are the biggest producer of aftermarket shocks in the world, uh, so quality is high and uh, many parts designed, made and tested uh, themselves. And they also offer upgrades for the front and the rear. So for the forks they can supply full revalve uh, or just springs, they don't offer a cartridge kit. Uh, we can't see any links online so we need to call them direct. We do know that Firefox Racing will do the revalve or springs, um, do check the, the link below uh, for the details. So the YSS option uh, for the shock comes with spring preload, length adjustment, rebound and compression that can be also adjusted on the fly. This is the cheapest shock, shock available we believe and also getting the adjuster uh, this adjustment without compromising on the effectiveness of the suspension. This one comes with a two year warranty uh, and they're obviously the right spring for your weight. Shock comes in at £332. Uh, you could add a reservoir option which comes in at around 700 uh, which is similar to nitro however if you are picky they only do a red spring we found this on uh, ebay uh, from firefox racing at 360 pounds but we've also seen it on brooks uh, suspension for the 332 so next on the list is k-tech and this would be one of our performance choices. We've used KTEC on motocross bikes for years and they're specialists in getting optimum performance in the off-road field. Uh, and this would offer excellent adjustability. So essentially, motocross upgrade suspension uh, and adjustability. So their offering is the Razor R Light Shock, uh, which again is listed on Brook Suspension for £415 uh, and they deliver worldwide. Brooks also sell seals, bushes, oil uh, and even powder coating and recraming if you're really fancy. Uh, again, so don't forget the, the links are all below in the description. Their shops have 28 click rebound adjustment, uh, spring preload adjuster, 10mm adjustable length and a renowned customer service which is based in the UK. So for the forks, they offer a IDS cartridge kit, which is uh, just under £600, uh, but this does provide 30 click rebound and compression adjustment uh, separately, 18 mil preload adjustment, uh, obviously a range of spring rates and also hydraulic luck, luck, hydraulic lock. So this would be a top of the range option for the forks to get the maximum uh, adjustability the same as same as motocross bikes they also provide a piston kit for for the forks for about 170 pounds uh, including the control valves shim stack and needles uh, and you need to be able to send them your loose forks in order to fit this and they do recommend uh, buying the complete set so coming in at a similar price to the k-tech uh, at 548 euros is uh, Andriani's adjustable fork cartridges, which you can see here. They list a very comprehensive description with downloadable instructions as PDF, which is a nice touch. Uh, their spring rates increase in 10 kilogram increments. Uh, but unfortunately, they don't have an option for the shock uh, currently. Another option offering upgrades for both front and rear is Hyper Pro. They offer stiffer progressive springs and oil for the forks and a full replacement shock unit with the same spec as YSS and Nitron for the rear, which comes in at €494. Euros. And they sell the both together as a kit on Hyper Online at €594. Euros. You can have their purple colour or black spring. Uh, word of note, if you weigh more than 100 kilos or less than 70, you'd have to add an extra 90 euros for the correct spring for your weight. They also offer just the springs, 
uh, for the front and the rear. So they would be direct replacements for the standard units, so off the shelf, uh, but could be a great DIY job to get the suspension, suspension to match your weight at a budget price. In the US, the prices seem to be slightly higher. Uh, the next on the list would be Racetech. Uh, now the 300 is not listed on their website, so you'd need to call direct to discuss specific requirements. If you do have any information on this, do let us know, uh, because we've had no real world experience with them except knowing that they are a leading company in the, in the motocross uh, discipline. Then we've got Hagon. Uh, so currently Hagon only offer a shock which comes in at £325 with the same cred credentials essentially as the Nitron and YSS uh, and they currently have a three to four week lead time due to demand. We know that Firefox Racing uh, can supply Hagon as well as the YSS shocks uh, or also call and direct as we've struggled to find any links online. Firefox themselves will also provide uh, fork springs and oil or a full, full revalve if that's what you're after for around £300 uh, but there are no direct links again because the 300 is so new so we need to call and direct. So this wouldn't be a complete list without mentioning Olin's they need no introduction and would be one of our premium options. However, offerings for the 300 are, again, are not currently available. SRC Moto have the 300 listed, but say they're looking at the 300 uh, separately to see which of the 250L components they could use. Uh, so there is an option on the site to select the 300, as you can see, uh, but it's not currently in production. When it does and is available, the fork springs with bleeders come in at $250 and the shock, the STX46, uh, is listed as $750. And next is the Rally Raid offering. So Rally Raid did amazing things with the CB500 platform and that's why we're mentioning it here. We're awaiting details on what they will be offering. Possibly a PDS rear shock. Uh, and also even a cartridge kit for the forks. So hopefully we'll have an update soon. So that's our list. Please let us know of your experience of any of the upgrades you've chosen as we've not yet fully decided what setup we're going to go for. However, if we were going to choose, uh, currently I think we'd go for the Nitron rear shock uh, and a revalve of the forks from Firefox Racing to get exactly the requirements we need. So hopefully this provides some options to consider from just spring changes to make it more suited to the average person's weight to a full swap out to gain a fully adjustable uh, motocross type setup. So that's it. Uh, hopefully this has provided some value. If it has, do subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Let us know your experiences in the comments and we'll see you on the trails. Safe riding. Cut!